everyone, Sherlock Friend number one here, and welcome back. Today we are going to be doing another episode blind reaction. I am so excited for this one. It is actually a 90s cartoon that I have never heard of and I didn't even know existed. Thus, we're checking out the wacky adventures of Ronald McDonald. Are you guys ready? Let's check it out. So, I'm already really confused. What is right that? Around. So I was wondering if you and the gang might want to go camping together out in Barflung Forest. Great idea. Fresh air, campfires, and I can try out my new tent. Can you imagine how long adventure. this dude's makeup took so to do? Can you imagine this full body oh, makeup? I'm gonna go check out my breezeometer. Oh boy, let's just get into the animation part already. I, I'm already like disassociating with all of well, this. That's perfect for a camp out. Hold on a minute. Tell me that this is not all just what this is. Are you sure? Sunday, don't tell me you're afraid of giant dinosaurs. No, no, it's, uh, ticks. I don't like ticks and fleas. Oh, Sunday. Far. Far flung. Here we come. They just jumped into a ball pit and they're gonna turn- Oh my god. That's wild. Okay, I'm liking this a lot more as an animated series. I think that if they had cut like half of the first part out, this would be a lot more enjoyable. It kind of looks like a mixture of the thornberries mixed with like a, a gaudier version cartoon. But I love the animation so far. I think it's it's very nostalgic. I think it's very Nickelodeon kind of s. Lots of logs. Looking for a bird laying in the trees. I hope a bear doesn't come for me. Oh. So Ronald, are we there yet? Are those the Fry Guys? I only know that because of Funko Pop. There's nothing like the great outdoors in the far flung forest. Is the best, of course. If you want to get close to the greenery. Yes. And sticks. Come on, Sunday. It's just a squirrel. Oh. Ooh. What is that thing? Right, Don't tell me the squirrel talks. It's just a squirrel. A mm -mm. very nice squirrel. What? Are we just not gonna address that? There was a squirrel wearing camo pants? She's up to something because she just thumb did a thumbs up at that tree. Why did Grimace have a tent? He just said his tent. Honestly, though, Ronald kind of has some vocals. Kind of like his voice. That's nothing. The far flung anthem is way more scary. Why don't we take a walk Sunday, like everybody? He's worried about the dog getting nightmares, but not poor Grimace or the little kid that's with them. I was too afraid. Well, do you really want to know? Uh, no. Hamburglar, don't you know it is not polite to terrify people? And your point is? <gasps> hey, what's that? Ooh. Some kind of old house. Old is an understatement. No, wait, there's a light. Oh, you stay away from that, Ronald. That's I clearly like a mad scientist lab. Like a big weather front moving in. So how does she... She's obviously up to something, but you can't control the weather, so... How is that happening? Wild guess here that it's not heat lightning. There goes the fire! Ah, I believe this would be as good a time as any to unpack the rain gear. But we didn't bring rain gear because... Or you could just go back to the car. We did. Be prepared. That's the McNugget motto. Uh, be afraid. That's the Grimace model. Isn't it kind of messed up to have the the chicken characters 
be the chicken nuggets because chicken nuggets come from chickens. Does that not seem a little dark to anybody else? Ew! I don't like that at all. Again, why don't you just go back to the car? I know it's like a three hour walk, but it's better than staying in this creepy house. Oh my gosh, it's like Beauty and the Beast in here. It's warm in here. The floors are creaky. Ew. Outside it's really leaky. Understand? Find the door with your left hand. No mention of a left paw, is there? I don't care what it says. I don't understand it. It's not hard to understand. My uncle has one of those big hedge mazes, and there's a trick to getting out. Let me guess. Okay. Hedge clippers. You just start walking with your left hand touching the wall to your left. What does that do? Well, you might have to walk through the whole maze, but if you don't ever lift your hand from the wall, eventually you'll find your way out. This house can't be. I have never heard that, nor Let's do I think that that makes any sense. Is it you're feeling for an exit? Because couldn't you do that with your right hand? Oh, we're doing another song number. Oh my gosh. You know, it was fun the first two times, but now it's getting kind of repetitive by how many songs are in here. What do we do? If we hold hands and follow the clue. Why did she hold his hand like that? Use your other hand. I told you they were all right. Who is up to the challenge? Sure. What else are you guys doing? Start off with an easy one. What is it that the more you take away from it, the bigger it gets? I know. No helping. I need an answer. Oh, Wait, I only one person choice. gets to do it? Take out. Way too complicated and wrong. The answer is a hole. <gasps> oh, man. Okay, someone else go. Clearly, she wasn't that good at it. Someone else do it. Hamburglar, why don't you go next? I'm in no rush. Because he just said that That's only one person could go. Very good answer. And yet they can do a, te a team. The answer is they're just trying to get all these characters out of here so Ronald has to clean up after everybody. Let me go next. I don't want to be left alone. Wait, I think the answers are also the traps. Huh, that's comforting. Okay, Franklin, it's my turn. Fine, here's a tough one. What costs nothing but is worth everything? Weighs nothing but last lifetime. Time. One person can't own, but two people can share. That is uh, a tough love? One. Time? Hmm. Cost nothing. I know the answer! Uh, say it now, or say goodbye! The answer is... Friendship! No! Oh my gosh. Lucky guess. Friendship. No guess. Grimace helped me with it. No fun, oh, no fun! Grimace. You weren't supposed to know the answer. Give me a minute while I think of what to do. Hey, you're making a point! Oh, don't yell at the other chicken nugget. Next. How about saying two words? That's impossible. How don't you? I mean, there's no way. Nobody gets into my lab. Nobody. Do you understand? Two words. Okay, okay. What are they? Nice hairdo. Why is this you like eight-year-old okay, running okay, this lab? And whose lab is this? Where are these people's parents? Dad. Oh, okay. With me, young man. That's not how that works, Sorry, I so... But I really wanted you to play the game. And I couldn't think of any other just way. play Monopoly? You still want to or anything? You had to do this? Sure. You still want to go camping? Sure! Anybody else? Yeah! Hamburgers seem absolutely sweet by comparison. The new friend that I'd rather have on my side! Aww. Yeah. That was a trippy mess at first. Honestly, I was not crazy about it. I was like, this is gonna be a long hour of a show for me to have to sit through because that first half had me very, very disinterested. It was really creepy. It's like the Wiggles meets Teletubbies meets like every scary 
Yo Gabba Gabba kind of thing. It was really weird. But honestly, once it got into the animated part, it was so much cuter. It was so much easier to watch and it wasn't so cringy. But I kind of enjoyed it. I don't think I'll be doing any more episodes because I don't know, unless you guys really like this reaction, maybe I'll watch more, but honestly, I don't know. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. Until next time, bye. Friendship is the best thing ever, except for best friendship.